In this video of freshly isolated peripheral blood NK cells from healthy donors co-incubated with ovarian cancer cells, you can see the NK cells in blue actively recognising and binding to ovarian cancer cells very efficiently, but they fail to receive all of the signals to trigger killing of the tumour cells. The tumour cells simply are not activating the resting NK cells and they remain alive. Here we've increased the magnification to show the detail of NK cell killing. And in contrast to resting NK cells, we've activated these with the cytokine IL-15. The NK cells not only bind to the tumour cells, but even a single highlighted NK cell here in the red arrow can kill and be triggered to kill. The IL-15 provides the activating signals to the NK cells which are missing from the ovarian cancer cells. Here, we've activated the blue NK cells with the large rounded incommune cells identified by the arrow. And they're binding to the ovarian cancer cell, but also to the NK cells as shown by the blue arrow. And like IL-15, they're providing the necessary priming signals to induce NC NK cell killing of the tumour cells, as indicated by the red arrow. The tumour cells have been pre-labeled with a reagent which turns red as the tumour cell dies, which you can see occurring here.